इधर कर्तव्य पथ पर माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी का आगमन हो रहा है राष्ट्रीय समर स्मारक पर जिन्होंने कृतज्ञ राष्ट्र की ओर से अमर शहीदों को श्रद्धा सुमन अर्पित किए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय विधिवत स्वागत करेंगे उपराष्ट्रपति महोदय का उनके आगमन पर और उसके पश्चात माननीय राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू का आगमन होगा इस वर्ष के गणतंत्र दिवस के हमारे खास मेहमान फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति श्री इमानुअल मैक्रों का माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी का स्वागत रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह द्वारा All eyes now on Prime Minister Modi who will emerge from his car at saluting base for the first time today at saluting base and we are all waiting with bated breath to see his beautiful bandhani turban with a matching cravat his choice of the turban and formal attire quite a matter of interest for everyone who is here Prime Minister Modi being received by the Raksha Mantri Shri Rajnath Singh the chief of defense staff the three chiefs of the armed forces the Raksha Rajya Mantri Shri Ajay Bhatt and the defense secretary Shri Giridhar Aramani as he makes his way to the enclosures where the ministers from the cabinet states and their families are all happy and excited to see him and greet him on the occasion of the republic day prime minister modi has always made it a point to personally greet as many people as possible who are on either side of kartavya path on this special day and as was mentioned earlier there are special invitees this year too to witness the parade invited on the prime minister's behest women workers from the electronic manufacturing industry guests who have featured on the prime minister's weekly radio program man ki baat space and rocket scientists from isro farmers from the agricultural sectors and professionals from other fields all seated in these special enclosures you can see the finance minister and other dignitaries the external affairs minister mr jay shankar manne pradhan mantri shri narendra modi vishesh atithi dirgha mein kendriya mantri mandal ke sadasyo varishth adhikariyon kendriya grah mantri lok sabha adhyaksh aur sabhi vishesh atithi ganon ka abhivadan swikar karte hue प्रथम परिवार के सदस्य भी यहाँ पर पचहत्तरवें गणतंत्र दिवस का हिस्सा बन रहे हैं और विशेष अनुराग उनके प्रति प्रदर्शित करते हुए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी एक बहुत ही खुशनुमा अवसर चिर स्मरणीय अविस्मरणीय पचहत्तरवा गणतंत्र दिवस The Vice President of India Shri Jagdeep Dhankar and his wife Shrimati Sudesh Dhankar have arrived here and the Prime Minister rushing to greet here and the Prime Minister rushing to greet them. Greetings being exchanged as they move forward and are acknowledging the greetings from the other dignitaries who are present here the three service chiefs the cds we're all now waiting for the president of india and the president of france to arrive here as the vice president makes his way to the special enclosure you can see the glimpses of uh, the stately procession with the president's bodyguard bringing the two presidents in state to be a member of this elite regiment the men have to be physically fit and mentally alert the minimum height for each of the troopers is 6 feet and it is the only regiment of the indian army that wears the bright red long coats with gold girdles and white breeches 
a blue and gold ceremonial turban with a distinctive fan and Napoleon boots with spurs. देश की सेनाओं की सर्वोच्च कमांडर भारत की राष्ट्रपति माननीय श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू उनके साथ इस वर्ष के गणतंत्र दिवस के खास मेहमान फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति श्री इमैनुअल मैक्रो आकर्षक बग्गी में रायसीना पहाड़ी से कर्तव्य पथ की ओर अग्रसर हो रहे हैं राष्ट्रपति महोदय का ये काफिला प्रेसिडेंट बॉडी की यूनिट और यहाँ कर्तव्य पथ पर प्रतीक्षारत माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह रक्षा राज्य मंत्री श्री अजय भट्ट तीनों सेनाओं के प्रमुख चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ और उपस्थित जनसमूह उत्कंठा से सबकी निगाहें रायसीना पहाड़ी की ओर विशिष्ट आमंत्रित मेहमान तेरह हजार के आसपास देश के कोने कोने से पहुंचे हैं साथ ही वरिष्ठ अधिकारीगण विदेशी राजनयिक भी हमारे आज के इस राष्ट्रीय गौरव पर्व का हिस्सा बन रहे हैं देश की प्रगति में प्रत्यक्ष और परोक्ष रूप से योगदान देने वाले वो सभी लोग आज अपने आप को गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रहे हैं जो कर्तव्य पथ पर मौजूद हैं और जो नहीं भी मौजूद हैं वो इन दृश्यों से उसका आनंद ले रहे हैं members of the diplomatic corps representing their countries and the common man and woman of india all gathered together to celebrate this fabulous ceremony the prime minister and other dignitaries waiting to receive the president of india and the president of france as they arrive down kartavya path खास मेहमान खास तौर पर पचहत्तरवें गणतंत्र दिवस की जो मुख्य थीम है जो मुख्य धारा है नारी शक्ति और इस बार की जो गणतंत्र दिवस की आकर्षक परेड है उसमें नारी शक्ति का अनोखा प्रदर्शन चाहे वो मैकेनाइज्ड कॉलम्स हों चाहे वो सशस्त्र सेना बल हो केंद्रीय मंत्रिमंडल के सदस्य यहाँ पर मौजूद हैं कर्तव्य पथ पर और हवा में स्वर लहरियां गूंज रही हैं अथ स्वागतम शुभ स्वागतम जो संकेत है माननीय राष्ट्रपति महोदया के कर्तव्य पथ पर आगमन Ananta Sutra the endless thread textile installation displayed behind the seated spectators by the Ministry of Culture and you can see these visually stunning sarees fitting base and her special seat we warmly welcome our honorable chief guest India and France are long standing strategic partners in Indo-Pacific Committee President Macron and President Murmu using the traditional indian greeting namaste with folded hands which has now become a global greeting the atmosphere warming up here as the mist and fog slowly lift to reveal the radiant faces the joyous crowds that have assembled here prime minister modi greeting president murmu and of course his friend the president of france emmanuel macron a warm embrace and a handshake an exchange of words as they set the tone for the celebration of their partnership the president being introduced to the raksha mantri the rajya raksha mantri the chief of defense staff and the three chiefs general 
Anil Chauhan, General Manoj Pandey, Admiral Hari Kumar, and Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary. President Macron making it a point to shake hands with each of our dignitary. As soon as the presidents and the prime minister reach their designated seats, as they climb up the short span of stairs, a 21-gun salute will be given by the ceremonial battery of 871 Field Regiment using the 105mm Indian Field Gun. And as the thunderous sounds of the guns resonate across the entire Kartavya Path, heralding the start of the parade under the patronage of the Supreme Commander, the national flag will be unfurled and the national anthem will be played by the military bands positioned across below the national emblem, the lion capital of Sarnath. Everyone present here and those watching us at home will also stand in honor and respect of the tricolor unfurled on the 75th Republic Day. President's bodyguard now moving away from the saluting base and of course they will be back for the closing part of the ceremony once again to escort the President of India, their Supreme Commander, to her official residence, the Rashtrapati Bhavan. And now it's time for the parade to begin and of course there will be a beautiful flower offering right at the beginning but we can see over here for the first time heralding the parade a band comprising 112 women artists playing different types of folk and tribal percussion instruments the dhol and tasha of maharashtra the dakpu from telangana the dhak and dhol of west bengal the shank the chenda dolu and kunita of karnataka nadaswaram Tutari and cymbals, all playing to rag revati of Karnatak music. Ab kar tave pat par manzar badalne wala hai. 